Hello everyone. I'm Rosie Swoshing from the Selmaris Roman Catholic Church. And for the past few weeks, we have been introducing to you our new generation teens and young adults. Now we've been concentrating for the past few weeks on the young adults. And now we want to introduce you to the first of our teens. And I'm so excited to introduce them to you. On my left is Abigail Da Costa. Abigail Da Costa. And Abigail, how old are you? And 12 years So, in your mind, I know what you're thinking before you even tell me, you know, 12 is not quite a teen. Well, guess what? The program, the range, the age range of the program is from 12 to 18. So, you are right and banging it. And that's a good place to start. You're right at the beginning. So, Abby, all right, before I come to Abby, you are So, you think you're bigger than Abby, right? You think you can show her a thing or two? So, you both know one another, I would imagine. Do you go to the same school? Yes. And that is? Matthew Akai. And you both come to Selamari's church. And I also noticed that you are both on the choir. I speak the youngest team, team members of our choir, right? Oh, have you been enjoying it, Abby? How long now have you been on the choir? Um, this year 2024 and uh, so you've been through what what on the calendar the liturgical calendar we've been through easter right um how was that for you how, how often do you and you manage to come every Friday? Not yet. Or sometimes it's a challenge. Okay. So, Leah, your, um, the name Christian rings a bell to me because I know Stephanie Christian. Yes. So, how, what's the relation? Well, she's my daughter. And you're very close to her because when you see Stephanie, you all, you always see Leah. <laughs> Correct? Yes. So what's what's been your time on the planet? How long have you? And you hope to continue here back. Alright, so both of you know you tell me about school. Um you just started high school, have you? September. So this is your first year. How do you find um coordinating your time? between, say, school and church? Um, it's not always so easy, but as time passes by, and I'm not used Yes. So you think you have it all at no? Not perfect. And for the most part, you come every Sunday, for the most part. You, um, yeah, how have you been speaking in your time? Managing your time with the church and school. I mean, it's been kind of difficult to put everything in because of all the school, and especially because I'm in now ninth grade, third form. It is very difficult, but I'm making it work. Right. So, tell me, Leah, how important do you think it is to be a part of a church family? Well, I think it's really important to me some of the reality that you can go to and tell anything to and that you trust. And you feel comfortable yes. with saying me, right? Yes. You come to me and tell me. And you, Abby? You would come to me and tell me anything? Tell me anything? Not anything? Well, no, see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are there any other ministries that you are you involved in any other ministries? Yes. Which of them? The liturgical arts. That's right. You, you dance for the most part in the liturgical arts. 
But we we'll broaden your horizon as well. Because it's the arts, so it's more than dancing, it's also spoken word and we do sign language as well. And what's that time in life for you? In, in that way? Um, I actually enjoy it a lot because even if I don't talk a lot, I feel like I do. How important is church to you? Church is very important to me and I love it. Yeah. I like being in the community that I like being at the community. And you grew up in, in, in this church yes. that I from in mommy's baby, in mommy's <laughs> belly. <laughs> You're the baby that came out of mommy's belly, right? <laughs> and stood all that time up to 12. And you have been enjoying the journey so far. Yeah. Where do you see, where do you see going from here? Like, say the next. Four years. Is there any other ministry that uh, that you've been looking at from afar and you'd like to become a part of? Let me ask you. With the two ministries that we are knowing about this. Yeah. I think, yeah, that, that, that is a practical way because with school, you know, and, and further up you're going to get the more work. Yes. So, yeah, I agree with you. How about you, Abby? Do you see any other ministry that you would like to be a part of? So you, um, you both go to Sunday school? Yes. What, what what's that program like for you? I mean, it's good. I learn a lot. Yeah. I also like that. So you share a lot with your classmates? I don't share a lot. I like to listen to the students. I'm doing you. Oh, oh, Sunday school for me. I really like it. I'm kind of it's not that it's kind of my time because I'm at confirmation this year. So confirmation is like a culmination of Sunday school. Um, when you get confirmed, you look in the There's this confirmation which I'll probably go to, but I think after that, I don't know if this will be for me. But you have been enjoying it. How oh, long now have you been in that summer school for? Um, I think my whole church. So you were a baby, like a baby in, in, in the church? You were born in Stella Maris? Yes. Oh, wow. We have a great team. <laughs> so the future is very bright. But Stella Maris starts. I am pleased. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I love that. <laughs> So is there, oh, what do you like encourage other people in, 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 in opinion, other people in your age group? How, how would you like encourage them to follow in your footsteps, so to speak? Um, I'll tell them that it's a very fun journey. Um, sometimes you have young folks, but most of the time, you want to then give it a try, right? Are you here to encourage others like yourself? I would definitely tell them it's a good, it's a good thing to get on, especially with your journey with God. Yeah, you can definitely um, build on that. Right. And it's definitely good. I would also encourage them to join a ministry. Yeah. So I realize that even if you have um, all the churches, your community, it's very important to have a special group of people that you can relate with. Well, I'm so, so happy 
to have been talking with Abigail Da Costa and Leah Christian. And I know by speaking with them, I know that Stella Maris Church is in good hands. Thank you for watching and see you next time.